Good morning, friends. Just thought I'd come out and check on all the animals. Um, we have a ton of clouds, if you can see, that are rolling in. We're supposed to be getting a huge storm today. Um, so I just wanted to check and make sure all the animals are situated okay, which they should be. Hey, I've been looking for this. Thanks to some awesome friends and family. We have tons of blankets for the pigs. I'm just gonna push this in, um, cause if it does rain, those are gonna be soaked. So I'm just fixing your bed, ladies. I was uh, hoping that I could just leave the chickens locked up in here all day, but I was uh, careless <laughs> last night and forgot to shut this door. So when I came out this morning to feed all the animals, the chickens were everywhere. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it right now to kind of lock them up. Um, the pigs have been really on me lately. Um, so when I throw food in there to lock the chickens up, it's usually pretty easy. I can get them to all run in there. Um, but lately these two <laughs> have been really bad and like they run in there. So it's, I have to wait for them to come out and then the chickens come out with them and it's just so much trouble. Um, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with that lately, but I am. So, yep. Trigger has his blanket on over there. Um, I was taking, thinking of taking it off, but I think I'm just going to leave it on until I get home from work and see how the weather is because it's not supposed to start raining until um, like noon and I'll be back around one. So we'll see how that goes. Hello, Rosalind. Hello. Hello. The birds are fine. They have been using all of their area. Um, Got some quails running in over there. They love their little cave. The pigeons have been using that area over there, which is thankfully. And then as you can see, the peacocks have been jumping up on the bale right there and hiding underneath the little awning that they have. So they're good. Um, the goats are good. They have their barns. So I think, I think we're gonna be okay. Um, I might just grab some of that hay and throw it in here though, because um, as soon as it rains, the goats do not like to be out in the rain. Um, they act as if they're getting acid porn on them. <laughs> they hate being wet. So, Crystal, what do you think? You think we should put some hay in your barn so you guys are comfortable? Mm -hmm. Now, it's happened before and pretty much all year has been super dry. Um, we've got a little bit of sprinkle here and there in the spring, but a super, super dry year. So we really need this rain to come. Um, sometimes, I mean, most times, they'll say it's going to rain and then it doesn't. Right, Roslyn? Yeah. So I'm just going to hope, hope for the rain and then prepare. Like I said, the horse is fine. But I think I am going to grab some of that hay. Okay, so I just grabbed a handful and I'm going to clean off. I don't know why they just love to poop on everything. And I, my husband just cleaned this whole thing out not that long ago, but I'm trying to do this one-handed. So I'm just going to set that there, and then that'll give them just something to do once it starts raining. And you girls are situated, okay? You guys ready? Oh, my dog must have came out. We're ready for the rain. Bring it on. Okay guys, so it is the next day. We did get rain finally. It happened a little later than they said it was gonna happen, but we did get, you know, quite a few hours of some rain, which California desperately needs. So I'm not complaining. I think most Californians, especially Southern Californians, love the rain because we don't get very much of it. So we appreciate it when we do get it because we're always in a drought. Um, so I'm kind of just, you know, coming out here and just checking everything. Um, the ground is still wet. There is a chill in the air. My hair is not brushed yet. As soon as I'm done filming, I'm gonna go right inside and get ready for work because I have to go to work today. But um, let me just show you this, it's kind of funny. So the ducks, like I said, um, I think before that they just love 
wandering the farm. So they're over there just kind of <laughs> checking things out. They like to hang out next to Trigger and go check out, um, you know, all, all the goodies over there that he drops on the floor. So let's get closer. But our ground, I don't, you probably can't tell on camera, but it is wet. Um, this is pretty, like that flakiness is normally not like that. It's usually just pure powdery sand. So it's definitely wet still. And we are not expecting any more rain in the forecast. So, okay, bye guys. Make good choices. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take off Trigger's blanket because he sweats so much if I leave this on him. And we're supposed to be in the high 70s today. So he will be fine. If you notice, we moved him over to this stall because of the rain and because he had just mucked up and tore up so much dirt. There was a huge puddle right there. And I was just worried that he was going to be slipping because it was super muddy. So this is actually dry <laughs> it's all kicked up because of him it's all fresh fresh dirt for you huh buddy but let's take this blanket off you You all feel better now? He had a tiny bit of sweat going back there. Um, you probably can't see because it's shaded right there, but he's got a little bit of sweat going. A, a little blanket there. It's like a medium to heavyweight blanket, so um, definitely come in handy for the winter. I'm actually going to buy him a bigger one because um, I measured him wrong and it's a little bit short. So I'm going to order him a bigger one and then just save this one for backup. Or if we ever get another horse. Are you mad at me? He's not too sure about being in this stall. <laughs> he knows what home is, but, um, you know, he got his water. He got his food. He's good. Just hopefully you get out of there. I don't know what it is with the dogs obsessing over their poop, but you're all good, buddy. You're all good. I'll be home in a little bit, okay? Yep, you finish your breakfast, buddy. You're such a good boy, huh? He's such a good boy. <laughs> and you girls just hate the rain, don't you? <laughs> I think I'm going to end the video here, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching, and Rosalind is just super interested. <laughs> I'm actually thinking of maybe after Christmas... Um, well, I was going to do, uh, retesting to make sure that they are safe from any diseases. Um, try that, um, probably maybe January. Um, if I do it earlier, then I'll do a pregnancy test on this one and Crystal because Rambo was in here with them. And from what I saw, he did get them pregnant. Um, but you just never know. Sometimes it doesn't take. So, um, from the way they act, they seem like they are cause they don't really go into heat again. But you just never know. This is our first time trying to breed them. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Bye.